there are two ways in which we can measure the extent of infection of COVID-19. The first is to find active cases. That means who is infected right now. We do this through surveillance and we use a test called molecular testing or PCR testing, and that finds active cases. The second way in which we can measure the extent of infection is through seroepidemiologic studies. These studies will measure the level of antibodies in a person, and antibodies develop one to two weeks after infection. And through these serologic investigations, what we can measure is the number of people who have these antibodies, and this tells us how many people had been infected with COVID-19. Some countries are considering the use of an immunity passport or certificate to indicate that someone who had been infected with COVID-19 is now immune to the virus. From what we know right now about the tests that are able to measure an antibody response in an individual who has been infected with COVID-19, we don't know if that antibody response actually means that they're immune. These studies are currently underway. We're also concerned about the use of such a certificate because it may mean that someone who has the certificate will not adhere to public health measures that they need to continue to adhere to. We expect that people who are infected with COVID-19 develop a response which will provide some level of protection. There are studies underway right now to determine how strong that protection is in terms of immunity and for how long that will last.